Hello, everybody. Okay, let me get my comments up here. See if we can get this working. And then I will show you what I have planned with the Daisy Lane bundle slash sweet bundle slash sweet, which apparently translates to sweet. Myself there, perfect. All right, and Kara is here. Wonderful, wonderful. One down, rest of the world to go. Hi, <laughs> Kara. Kara was just bugging me because I wasn't live yet. And I'm like, I know I'm trying to get everything working, but it's all working now. So what I've got today, as you saw in my little sneak preview, I've got the Daisy Lane stamp set, um, which is new in the annual catalog. It looks kind of similar, this image here, to the other Daisy stamp set that was a bundle with the big Daisy Punch. But this one actually comes as a bundle with the small Daisy Punch. So we have both of those and two stamp sets. That's four, two stamp sets, the Daisy Lane bundle, and I can't remember what the other one's called. Um, that we've had for a bit. So I'm just using the Daisy Lane suite and I pulled out my ribbon because I love this ribbon and it's so pretty and I can't get enough of it. So I'm gonna be using some of that and yeah, I'm gonna show you what I've planned. So I was bugging Kara and I'm gonna put her on the spot here. I've been bugging her to watch me for a while because the other day I was watching her live and she made the atrocious comment that she doesn't use a take your pick tool. She doesn't even own one, though I'm assuming she's ordered one by now, which we just can't have that. So the first thing that I wanted to show you, and I've actually kind of pre-done some of this, is why the take your pick tool is so awesome. So Tara, this one's for you. So what I've got is I've got my three little daisies stamped and punched out already because I want this part to be quick. So I'm going to curl the edges with my bone folder because I have to use my bone folder on every project. And I don't know who else is watching. I can see a count, but I can't see who you are. So you have to make a comment. Otherwise, I don't know who you are and I just assume that you're a stalker. I mean, you probably are and that's okay. Kara, have to order it. So now I'm putting all of these onto my little glue dots because glue dots are awesome as well. And we know that and Kara knows that. But now I'm gonna use my take your pick tool because once you get these onto the glue dots, they can be a little hard to manipulate. And granted with the daisies, it's a little bit easier, but they can still be hard to pull off Hi, Shirley. Oh, that's exciting. I don't know if Shirley's watched one of my lives before. Welcome to the jungle. So I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but what happens to me sometimes is when I go to pull this off, I actually pull like a petal off or something like that. So with the take your pick tool and you can use the spatula for this as well. I like the poker. Um, what's it called? Piercing tool, poker. Um, pick it up like that and then you can just put it onto where you want it. Now, with these daisies, you can do two layers or you can do three, whichever you want. Um, I'm gonna do three because I want a nice full daisy. So I'm gonna actually just put it not quite in the middle of those other petals. I'm gonna pick it up again and put that in that last little gap so that I filled in and I've got this nice full little daisy. But wait, there's more. I have my perennial essence floral centers, which is a mouthful to say the little fuzzy flower centers. Again, those of us that don't always have long nails, that have fat fingers, that are just uncoordinated with our fingers, this really helps. I did a try it class today. I had four brand new stampers that had never stamped with me before. They'd never stamped with anyone before. Hi, Corey. Um, they had a heck of a time getting the backing off of dimensionals. With the take your pick tool, it becomes a lot easier because you can kind of poke at it until that little piece comes off. And then again, 
Corey, you missed the setup. I'm giving Kara a hard time that she doesn't have a take your pick tool yet. So now I'm telling her why she needs one. So now I've turned my little poker into a pointer that I can put that embellishment wherever I want it. And again, with the daisy, this is a little bit of overkill. I probably wouldn't do this and I probably won't do this for all the daisies, but I've wanted to show you kind of those few ways. And then I need to do something with this. So in honor of Kayla, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it on the end so that it's on the cap. I can still use my putty tip and I won't lose the cap. And now when I use my poker tip, I have a little flower on the end and I'll think of Kara. So there you go. That's my silly little project that I wanted to show you and to give Kara a bit of a hard time. So I hope that you're glad you watched Kara. All right, on to what I'm actually working on. So I showed you how to do a three layer flower with those daisies and with the little ones. So now I'm gonna do a few different variations. This is your hideously decorated one. I don't want to get in trouble and send you one across the border. So this is, this is my version of sending you a decorated. Take your pick tool. There you go. Okay, so I've got some Whisper White here and now I need to do some stamping. So I'm gonna do a big one and I'm gonna do a two layer. I keep doing this and doing four, but it's two layers. Um, where did I put? Oh. Hmm, I had some markers out here, but I think I may have left them in the craft room. I'll be right back. where I put those markers. So, oh, there they are. Haha, <laughs> they're behind the computer. I didn't have to leave at all. Okay, markers. So I saw this and it was really cool. So I was gonna try this. I haven't actually done this before, but I really wanted to try it. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a smoky slate and I'm going to kind of flick it up the pedal, not necessarily going the whole way up. And then I'm going to color the center in with, this is crushed curry. So, yeah, we'll get in trouble. So now I've got ink on my stamp, but because it's with the markers, it kind of dries out. So I want to just breathe on it to kind of reactivate the ink. And then I'm going to stamp this. And then see how you kind of have that gradient in the petals. I thought that was super cute. So now I'm going to do that again because I want this one to be two layers. Oh. I figured it was too late to have a coffee. So I chugged a can of pop instead, or as you guys call it down south, soda. Um, and now I have the burps. Alrighty, so I've got two of these guys, and now I need my punch. <laughs> perfect, Kara, perfect. Don't dish it if you can't take it, right? So there is one of our little daisies for that one. And then I'm gonna do another one here. Now this would be a lot easier to do with the Stamparatus, but I didn't think that far ahead, so deal with it. Okay, so I'm gonna curl my petals again. Do, do, do. See, and then that happens, you pull the petals off. That's why we can't have nice things. Yeah, I saw that and I was like, oh my God, that is just brilliant. I'm gonna, what, I'm gonna, I could do something else with that. I saw some really cute, like, who loves me, who loves me not. Um, 
type things, but I'm just gonna do another one here because I don't wanna fart around with making up greetings. And for some reason, as both Cor Kara and Corey, oh boy, I'm gonna combine your names now, have discovered I like to make up my own little greetings and they're not always um, um, corporate approved, let's say. One of these days I need to share some of my less than PG, or I guess it would be more than PG cards. Okay, that time I did it without breaking anything. And then I've got my little glue downs, and this time I'm just going to put it kind of in the middle. So there we've got a different variation of that flower. So it's just a little bit less full than the three layer daisy. Now there's still more that we can do. So now I'm going to do this and I'm going to bring in my little one again. This time I'm just going to stamp it and I'm going to use gray granite because I like smoky slate, but I want it to be a little bit warmer. So I'm going to use my gray granite, which is just a little bit of a warmer gray. And I'm going to stamp and I'm going to do two again. Stamp those on there. And now I'm going to punch these guys out. Get to watch lots of stamping and punching today. Alrighty. Don't pull the petals off. Don't pull the petals off. Okay, but this time I'm gonna go kind of in between the two layer and the three layer, and I'm gonna add a layer of vellum. So I'm gonna punch out one daisy in vellum as well. That one doesn't get stamped because I didn't wanna bother with heat embossing or all of that. So this is just gonna be some vellum leaves that are gonna be stuck in the middle with you. All right. So we're gonna do this and line this one up kind of a third of the way over and then we're going to do the same with the top one and now we have a daisy that has some stamped and some vellum leaves i really like the look of that vellum so i'm going to do one with just vellum so i'm going to do one see how many daisies i can get out of this piece of vellum two can I get a third one? Can I do it? Oh, just barely not. Okay, so we'll just go with two. There we go. So now we have a daisy that just is vellum. So these are all, they're nice, but let's add some details to the middle. This is where I need my take your pick tool again. So for this one, I'm going to add the gold faceted dot. This one, I think I'm going to add one of the fuzzy guys. What should I do for this one here? I'll let you guys tell me as I'm fiddling with this. What do I do? Do I do the fuzzy one or do I do the gold? I don't know. I like them both. I have one fuzzy one left. 
Okay, fine. I'll do the gold because it's here. I've been telling you what to do. I don't know what to do with my life. All right, there we go. That's actually really cute. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to put that away because now it's time to actually make a card. So one of the things that I like to do is just cut a whole stack of card bases at once because nobody has the time to fart around. Hey, Sue. Um, and make card bases on demand. So I have a whole stack of crumb cake card bases and I cheated and I pre-cut some designer series paper as well. So this is from the in color stack. Did I cut them the wrong length? I totally did. Oh, bad stuff. Okay, I have one that's cut to the right length and I'm gonna put that across the bottom there. I can't believe I cut those the wrong length. Oh. Well, I have a whole stack that's too short. That's what happens when you're chasing puppies around all afternoon, right, Sue? All right, so I'm gonna glue that on there. And then where did my ribbon go? I'm gonna put some ribbon on here, but I'm going to, <laughs> yeah. So for everybody that missed that, i.e. everyone but me and Sue, Sue's puppy and my puppy had a play date today and they chased each other around and around and around on the beach at the lake for probably a good hour. And now they're both asleep. Leia walked in the house and she would walk about four steps and then she would just zone out and I'd have to remind her to keep going. So now she's asleep in the closet. Okay, so I've got some tear and tape on there and I'm just gonna put a strip of this ribbon across. So I don't have to put it around the back of the card. I don't have to tie a bow, any of that stuff. It makes life so much easier when you're not trying to tie bows, especially when you're tired and you're on camera. And snip the end off. Alrighty. I'm gonna stamp a sentiment too, and I'm gonna go with tone on tone. So I'm gonna grab Hi, Gwen! Oh my goodness, I think this is the most people that have ever watched one of my lives. I'm gonna go crumb cake on crumb cake here and do this, it's your time to shine because I love that saying. Now, which one of these, these are all gonna go on cards, but which one of these do you like best? The big inked one, the small inked one with vellum, or the small just vellum one. Which one should I do? I'm gonna do them all eventually and I'm gonna show you some more variations. But which one of those three do you want on this card? The big one. Okay. Sue commented first, she wins. I'm gonna put two glue dots on the back of this just so that it holds really nice and well. Use all three. I, you know, if I'd done them the same way, maybe. Maybe I'll do one with three. But I think it'd be, it's a li it looks a little clashy, I think, with the different centers and stuff. For your card, I'll make, I'll put three on there. Alrighty, I'm gonna pop this on here. And that is kind of my card done, actually. I'll show you the other variations that I made earlier. This is another one with a big one, and this is just stamped with three layers. This is a little one, again, with three layers. This is a little one with the gold faceted dot. <laughs> I'm glad that you see that, Kara. This one just has the flower in a different position, and this one is pretty much the same as that, just with in a different position. So there we go. That is the Daisy Lane stamp set and my kind of vision for it. Um, I hope you learned something. I hope there's, you know, I think I showed you three or four different techniques. Um, you've got the different sizes. You could totally do like a little bouquet of them. You could totally do that. I would suggest that you stick with the same style for all your flowers if you're going to do that though, Kara. Thanks, Sue. Another Sue. Um, so there you go.
that is my card. If you want to get the Daisy Lane bundle um, or just the stamp set or just the punch, you can go to thecraftymedic.com. Over on the right hand side, there's a link to my online store. There is um, the host code so that I combine all my orders um, and then I get lots of prizes and stuff. So that's, you'll get some, some little goodies in your order when you do that. Don't forget that if you spend over $65, you're gonna get the Stampin' Around the World tutorial bundle as well, which Sue K can tell you is pretty awesome. Kara's part of that too. Um, and then I do have some online classes going right now um, with the See a Silhouette bundle. Um, what was the other one? I can't remember what the other one is, but anyways, they're all posted on my website, thecraftymedic.com. All right, have a good night, happy stamping. And I will see you on, what is it today? Today's Tuesday on Saturday. Um, I believe I'm working on Saturday, so it will be a pre-recorded video, not a live video. So that will be at three o'clock Pacific for those of you that aren't here on the coast with me. So have a good night, happy stamping, stay out of trouble.